panoramic views across the Sabi River are among the most popular sites in the Kruger National Park. And tourists love to gather along the riverbank for a bite and a drink. The Sabi River is one of five major rivers in the Kruger National Park that flow all year round. It's regarded as one of the most pristine rivers in South Africa because of its good quality and quantity of water, as well as its rich biodiversity. The Sabi was the main focus of World Fish Migration Day, as South African and international scientists met to celebrate the event and to spread the message of connecting fish, rivers and people. There's almost close to 46 species of fish in the Sabi River. So the Sabi River is a high conservation status it should be protected and maintained as a pristine river in South Africa. We want to show how everything is connected, that it's not just thinking about the fish. It also has impacts on a bigger ecosystem. Everything is connected and also downstream in Mozambique. They are dependent on the water that's here in the Kruger Park. Numerous species of fish are migratory, many swimming vast distances to and from their different feeding and breeding waters. But they often encounter man-made obstacles, such as bridges, dams and weirs, which threaten their survival. Because of barriers, the river is not connected anymore. You're stopping the river. But how do you keep the rivers connected for fish to migrate, for fish to move upstream and downstream to get to the feeding grounds, their spawning grounds, you put in a fishway. What a fishway does is it creates a pass for fish to overcome barriers. So this specific fishway that you're looking at now, this is the only fishway of this type in South Africa at the moment. What we need to try and do is we want to try and demonstrate to you what the importance of knowing how important those rivers are and that we actually have the ability to manage these rivers and work towards the management of the rivers and the life within the rivers, the fish in the rivers, so that it doesn't only benefit the systems and the biodiversity in the park, but the people, the people who need the fish downstream. And just as people need fish, it's clear that fish species around the world also need people to survive. We want to give the fish a voice and we want to give the rivers a voice. And, um, and on World Fish Migration Day, we do this. Renee Dalcom, CGTN, Kruger National Park, South Africa.